They're at the bottom of the Pac-12 in turnover margin in that loss to Liberty. 24 turnovers. So that goes to your point about Spirit playing with high basketball IQ as uh, that's a nice move by Akala. Yeah. Listen, please. Now there were, Shoot around is what the Stanford Cardinal did. Now they were doing more shooting and more fundamentals as Beautiful. Akpala nails a three. Akpala last year shot 23% from three-point range. This year is at 47%. On Murray Bartow was Bob Knight. Murray was a GA at Indiana when Steve Alford was a junior and a senior there, and they won the national championship in 1987. Stanford with the lead. Cormac Ryan. Beautiful ball movement. Well, finding the right fit is key. It, it's clear that even though Steve Alford did go to three Sweet 16s, deserves credit for what he did, developing some players. He had 11 guys that... Jerry now working with the Clippers and doing an excellent job. Lawrence Frank here tonight to make it happen. Don't be in a rush. Don't be pressured. Akpala gets the free throw. It's a seven-point UCLA lead at the nine-minute mark of the first half. And with seven to play in the first half. Wilkes from outside. Off the mark. Just one basket Push so the ball, AZ. It's KZ. KZ, AZ, I can't, I'm trying to figure it out. Akpala gets the basket and a foul. He's Another devil out there. There are eight players that uh, measure six, eight or taller. Beautiful on play. Team. Beautiful play. Akpala working Look hard on that. the glass. Sticks it back up and in. And it's a four-point game here at Pauley. Player ever. Well, Mark Eaton was here. That's a big dude. Look at that footwork. And there is Moses with the block. Oh, come on. At least we thought it was a block, That's but it happened. That's a block. I'm reading Harvey Ayrton's new book, Elevated, right now. That's a great block, please. Just because the refs can't make that play. You didn't the, think it was on the way down? Look at it, no. uh, look at it again. Yeah, well, it hit the backboard. It hit the backboard. Yeah. Let's, take a, let's take seven more looks at it. Sit there all day and talk about basketball. It was just fantastic. You know, it's interesting you bring up Steve Fisher because, remember, he took over. For huh? Bill Frieder on an interim basis and led them all the way. So easily like that. Let's go. Smith one for eight in the first half. Over Here's the a, top. Yeah, oh. but got to get it higher than that. You would think for a guy who's seven three. Uh, especially if it's from you, no shot. <laughs> <laughs> you won't even touch it. <laughs> There's Akpala in the lane getting the basket. Boy, he, he's going to be something. KZ Akpala he sophomore looks from Orange County, 17 points already. Yes, it is. It's a great job. It's a wonderful job. Here's a steal by Akpala. Look out. Gets the slam. Make it a six-point game. Fix it, UAB. Stanford making a run. Akpala with the breakaway slam. It's a six-point game. Don't blame these poor young basketball players, many of them who come from very, very tough backgrounds. So, so get rid of the one-and-done rule and just let high school players go to the NBA again? No, and no. Isaac White hits a three. Or guard to guards out in front and don't let the guards come down the lane. Wilkes misses a three. Stanford in transition down 14. White is second three. Because Timeout Stanford that will leave them with only one for the rest of the game. So what's the market and the expectations here and, and obviously all the success of the pro sports franchise ucla should never never have to explain its standard of excellence and over the top spectacular joan bring us home please ucla with perhaps its most complete performance of the season a 92 to 70 win over stanford